Unreal Engine 5. 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 Unreal Engine is ruining video games. Unreal Engine has made real-time, near-photorealistic graphics readily available for whoever wants to take their time to learn their stupidly overcomplicated program. And with the gift of bringing the power of in-house engines to the public, in return we've gotten an oversaturated market of absolute blah. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Unreal Engine. For God's sake, I hope I do, I, it single-handedly pays my bills. But that doesn't mean I don't have many problems with the engine. With the release of Unreal Engine 5, you all have probably seen tens of different games coming out in the next year or two made in Unreal Engine. And maybe it's just me, but I've been quite disappointed when watching these trailers. It's just this repetitive, bland look that me and my coworker have been calling the Unreal Engine look. It's this indescribable feeling of sameness that has plagued the visual style of all these games. It's something about the depth of focus, and the hair, and the foliage, and the particle systems. Oh god, don't get me started on the particle systems. Maybe this is just a thing that I care about, and honestly, maybe it's just because I work in Unreal Engine for 10 hours every day, so I'm so used to seeing all the weird uniquities and imperfections that the engine brings to these renders, but, but so many games these days feel like personality-less asset flips. This is not to say that Unreal is purely to blame. Unreal is a tool that many studios use to help them create hyper-stylized masterpieces. Things that step out of this uncanny valley of Unreal Engine and into the feeling of any other AAA game. Maybe it's that damn Square Enix budget that gave Final Fantasy VII and Octopath the ability to make these wonderful demonstrations of what the engine could produce. And maybe that's what the real problem is. Games are able to be made by smaller and smaller studios these days, and thus they rely more and more on the tools like Unreal Engine to make their art. Some indie studios can absolutely use this in amazing ways. Take Stray for example, a game that is completely stylized and beautiful, but most studios rely so heavily on what Unreal Engine can do that they all become this unstylized, semi-realistic blob. Unreal Engine itself is an amazing tool that can help us create stunning games, but it's a double-edged sword because it has that trap of the unrealiness of it, which is honestly hard to escape, especially if you're indie. Unreal Engine isn't really built for indie teams, it makes the promise of easy photorealism to whoever wants it, but the price is one of the only things that can make an indie team stand out in such a competitive industry. Their style. Even games that try to make their own style to fit into the awkward shaped puzzle piece that is Unreal still fall into this uncanny generic valley. That is the trap of Unreal, an empty promise that you can make whatever you want. But whatever you make will always be generic and lack that character that pushes it to be the masterpiece that you want it to be. Unless you have millions of dollars of budget and then you might make something that looks unique. I hate that I'm saying this, but my nemesis, Unity, doesn't have this problem. It's more open-ended visually, it lacks the guardrails that Unreal places on you that are so hard to escape. Unity 2 can become samey, but it's samey in the way that people make their games generic and they look generic, and not in the way that the engine forces you to make it look the same. And yeah, there are always pros and cons to using either software, but in my opinion, as an indie designer that uses Unreal Engine every single day, Unreal Engine with each update is becoming less and less a tool for the solo developer and more and more becoming an overcomplicated mess that might become best used by large studios, lest the market might become so oversaturated with Unreal Engine 5 games that soon people might gawk at the sight of something made in Unreal. There might be such a plethora of genericity that might make people sick of seeing these games and thus made in Unreal might soon be something that turns many people off from games made in it. But in all honesty, that's just a thought, and this whole video is completely opinionated. It's just what I think as a game designer. And if you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments down below. I love Unreal Engine from the bottom of my heart. I've been using it for seven years now, and it's made me the designer that I am today. But it clearly has some flaws that I hope don't send it down the path of dead engines of the past.